Damn, okay, that's uh, some statements here. Crazy. Hi everyone and welcome back. Oh, as you can see, I've made some changes to my background. I got another plan to liven things up a little bit. I have a new microphone, which hopefully will sound better than what I was using before. And I think I got it working okay now. Uh, I was having some audio issues on the previous two videos, which was a bit unfortunate, but sometimes it happens, even to us filmmakers, especially with a, an upload schedule that's quite as demanding and like quick paced as it is with YouTube. Anyway, it's just me, you know, like it's, it's a one woman band here and it's, uh, it's that part, sometimes the technical stuff, just because I'm so limited on time and I still want to do other stuff too than just YouTube. Um, it's been a bit tough sometimes, but yeah, I'm not complaining. But it does mean that sometimes we're looking at a couple of issues here and there. But still, I'm managing to get my point across, which is, I think, the most important part. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the new Nightwish video. <laughs> So that's happening. Their last release for Perfume of the Timeless was great. So I'm really looking for what they got in store for us this time. In case you're new here, my name is Manon. I'm a filmmaker and I take a look at the more visual aspects of a music video. So if you're looking for reactions for music, that's not really my thing. I purely look at the music video. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Take shelter, skies are homing, arm again and second coming, war of the world's the end of history. Take shelter, floods are rising, the wrath of thunder is drumming, end of days for men. For your kids. Damn, okay, that's uh, some statements here. Crazy, I love I love it when they get like really thoughtful. I mean, that's kind of what they do anyway, right? But I mean, more like noise where it was so timely and kind of political too. So here we see some crazy stuff and most strongly I'm getting a clockwork orange here like that the the eyes like obviously they're not being clamped open like they are in clockwork orange but they're definitely like it feels like they're being forced to watch this screen and their skins are all flaky i wonder why that is that's uh, a creepy look like the 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 first look like this beautiful lighting by the way i love the red and the blues here uh, which are also beautifully reflecting from this pipette and it's uh looking really cool and then there's a, a great focus pull here. Ooh, and it was kind of sped up too. Very cool. Love that. So, and then we, so we see this woman's really creepy face with uh, the, the chap, like the face paint. And it, it just looks really unreal. Kind of zombie-like. I don't know. Maybe they'll do a reveal on why that is. And then this beautiful close-up shot of the drop being delivered to the eye. Very creepy and gross, ew. But yes, very effective in setting the tone because we're only 10 seconds in here. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting a strong clockwork orange vibe. This is also a great shot. I love the, the texture on the walls with these this sort of growth and the the ceiling that's falling apart it's giving sort of post-apocalyptic 
and then they're seated in front of this giant screen with the projections um, that's projecting all sorts of words. And I'm not sure if the space stuff was actually projected on the screen too, or if that was just for us. Wonder what his f finger here is about. It's just... Oh, he was requesting another drop, it looks like. So that's interesting because then that's not like Clockwork Orange where they're being forced here. It's more so like they're willingly taking it in and they want more, right? And these are all just such great shots. It's it's really beautifully done and I love the lighting here. It's um, very stunning. And look at all of it is blue and then we have his really bloodshot eyes and that's where we see some of his, of his own skin tone and I... I'm I'm guessing that not only are they f painted with this face paint, but here we barely see any of the the paint or in his ears, but it's not reddish, right? Or or uh, like like his eyes. So I feel like they also played with this in the color correction a little bit, where we do see some reds here and in his mouth, his eyes obviously a little bit here, but not on the ears and the neck. And I think that's because they probably um desaturated everything uh, that's sort of beyond the the ears and the nose and the mouth so that or at least you know filtered all of the reds out of it just to make it even more haunting and unreal looking and it's really effective very cool and she's just looking so creepy As always, the VFX are so on point. So to go back a little bit, uh, all these really great close-up shots and with, with really shallow depth of field, it's just beautiful. And this is something that I've seen uh, them do with Star, uh, Star Wish. Oh, where did that come from? Nightwish, uh, quite a bit, where they'll use a, a lens set that's able to do like this types of really, really shallow depths of field. And it's really so great looking. And so now their world is sort of crumbling. And I think we see all of these flakes flying around. And is that like their face paint or is that their peeling skin? Is that maybe what's happening? It, it's so creepy looking. It's like there are porcelain dolls that are sort of cracking and falling apart too. So we see outer space on this big screen and Interestingly, it's like the gravity is being pulled towards the screen and so they all start falling and the room sort of shifts and um, they fall onto this screen which turns out to be a, a piece of fabric. But look at this, like it's such a cool shot, like well done, this is so neat. Love this, the, just what an incredible job again from them. Love it. This shot where he's actually falling through the fabric and we're seeing a little bit of the room behind. But then he basically, they, or is it her? I don't know. She basically enters this space world where we're in this sort of almost alternate reality kind of situation. Damn. What, what a cool space too. So yeah, clearly shot this person's on a green screen and this whole space is sort of superimposed around it. Love the look of this. It's and the colors again are great. This blue and the red, very beautiful, very beautiful. And then we're back. So it's interesting how we're cutting back and forth between 
you know, them falling through this sort of surrealist landscape and being back in the room. So maybe this is something that's happening sort of in their head. I don't know. But let's keep watching. That looked a little bit like a landscape in a game. And it was really cool. So they have all these characters here that are just um, petrified. Or, you know, they, they've turned to stone because of some sort of almost... I mean, they're sort of kneeling here in shock and awe. It's like some sort of cataclysmic event. Definitely, definitely getting a sort of... Like, even with the world here, it feels very video game, which is so cool. And I love, again, this red light here and all of the blues. It's, it's so pretty looking. And I wonder what all these people are. It looks like they're a choir or something. love these fists that's a cool visual but let me go back to this so usually how they achieve this effect is um you know they'll have this space with that's surrounded by green screens or just behind them there's a green screen and then they will have much like they lift acrobats you know with like Cirque du Soleil or in a circus they'll have these wires that are attached basically to a harness that's sitting around your hips with like these points that are able to turn and twist. Mostly turn, like they'll be able to go forward, but not as much like sideways. And that, that allows the, the person that's in, in this harness to kind of move forwards and backwards and make it look as if they're flying, especially when it's like in front of this green screen where they're able to take away all of these wires and stuff in post. So here, all these these flying people, they were shot in slow motion. And so that's why it looks so sort of weird looking as if it's like an outer space where things move a little bit more slowly. It's a very cool effect. It's again, like a really um, creative use of slow-mo to make it look as if there's no gravity. So it's really, really, really uh, a cool effect. This shot to me was so creepy because they really look like they're sort of screaming in terror and they're all the same and it's all really creepy looking. And I wonder if that's maybe that's what's happening to these uh, characters is either they're turning into these stone statues or maybe they were stone statues before. I don't know. Like, I'm so curious to find out what the point is and what, what the maybe there's some 
mythical relevance here that I'm missing or will be revealed later. And as always, something that I notice about the Nightwish videos is that the, the camera work is always very steady and very assured. It's very smooth. This is all, you know, um, either the camera is positioned on a tripod so it's fixed or they use Steadicam in some of these. Actually, I don't think I've seen Steadicam. So most of it is just like on a ball head, very smooth moving. Um, and unlike what we see in metal videos a lot, it's not like the jerky mo movement. There's no glitchy stuff going on. There's no flashing or at least not much other than, you know, the lights that we're seeing in this, this room with the screen. And so it's, it's just all very smooth and it just really, they, they have such a great dreamy vibe. And I love that they, they really do this sort of more surrealist stuff, which if you've been watching some of my videos uh, now, you know that I love that. So it's, it's that. And I, I think that's, um, yeah, it, it always feels a little dreamy to me. And I love that. That's, that's just really, really excellent. Dust to dust, I guess. Beautiful. I wanted to go back to this shot of the girl with the rose real quick, because that obviously really stood out. Love this, and I love the army with the fist anyway. I was, it was giving me a little bit of the uh, terracotta army vibe as well. And then this, this incongruous, the girl with the red rose really really stands out and then they fly into space very beautiful very beautiful like this is such a cool shot and then they just turn into dust so they were kind of falling apart right and maybe that's what the ash or the dust or the flakes was about is they they finally disintegrate and return to space very deep man I just read the lyrics. It's basically about the end of the world, isn't it? So the day of the end of the world. My gosh, what really, really dark and a lyric especially that stands out to me is um, the end is fear, which is so fitting because it's about all of the things that are like major threats to humanity right now, especially also they touch on climate change and how we're not able to look away, yet we're not doing anything. And I feel like that sort of fits with the people that were sitting in front of the screen, right? And that's something that noise was also about, where we're just watching, watching, watching our screens, but it's also meaningless. And that's something that they really touch on quite a bit, I feel like. This, this grave new world of 84, which is clearly a reference to 1984, but also A Brave New World, which is another uh, dystopian science fiction novel and is really beautiful and is also about the administration of drugs to stay happy. And that's, I, I feel like, to stay happy and to control emotions. And I feel like that also with this little drug that was being administered to their eyes kind of is what, what was happening in the video. So I think that's a just really a beautiful way. And then they also refer to this dream world, right, in the lyrics, an empty sermon. You know, we, we saw all these statues sort of praying to something. I thought they were a choir, but maybe it was like 
more like a church type of setting. Boy, that was uh, very different from the last one we saw, which was more about like human history, the world's, the planet's history. And now we're, you know, back into our modern day or current time and also our future and who's to say what's going to happen. It's very timely. I, I think a lot of us are kind of wondering and worrying about this uh, kind of stuff. So I, I feel like it's uh, very, very, very timely. Wow. What a great job. And I'm just seeing that this is directed by Stoba Haju, which again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So if I'm not, I'm sorry. So it's not much of a surprise that it feels a lot like Noise, which was also directed by him. And I was also getting very strong Poets of the Fall, Carnival of Rust vibes as well. Like I felt like the look was very similar of this dream world and, and sort of the color scheme of things like so um, very controlled in terms of colors. Like mostly we were seeing sort of this grayish blue and the reds. Very pretty. Yeah, what a what a joy. I, I really feel like this was a really deep, very deep, and definitely takes me back a little bit to older Nightwish video-wise. So very exciting and just absolutely love this. Anyway, join me in the comments to talk about this. Let me know what you thought about this video. Also, we are on Discord. Uh, we have a really fun little community. So if you like hanging out with us in the comments, come and hang out with us there as well, where we keep the check going. We're kind of maybe starting a movie club, uh, much like a book club. And we are talking about music videos and music, and we have a really eclectic taste. So it's been so much fun. I'm just uh, really stoked to... Uh, get to know you all better. Uh, I also have a Patreon where you can support me, this channel, and also you get exclusive access to, to some of my work as a filmmaker, which I'm really proud to share with you. And, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope I'll see you for the next one. Peace.